Have you ever wondered how experts make their Tesla stock price predictions and what they base them on? Setting a Tesla stock price target is trickier than you think. Experts base their predictions on seemingly unlimited data before they come up with a price. If you want to know more about this, you definitely would not want to miss this one. According to CNN, the race to the electric car is just getting started and Tesla is firmly in the lead. According to CNET, Tesla is the undisputed American EV champion right now, a position it will likely maintain for some time. Paul Waddy, manager of industry analysis at Auto Pacific, predicts they're still going to be the powerhouse into the end of the decade. That said, despite the heavy competition in the EV industry, Tesla remains to be in the lead. Adam Jonas, a Wall Street analyst at Morgan Stanley, said that Tesla was a winner in the electric vehicle race. He said that the current landscape for electric vehicles was a race and that Tesla was winning it. Think of the EV race as a marathon. He wrote, Tesla is in the lead at mile number 21, everybody else is at mile 2 or still tying their shoes. Many believe that Tesla's success is mainly due to its net profit as there is no one close enough to the company's profit margin in the entire automotive industry. Before we go on, Moomoo developed a new function, the industrial chain. Suppose you want to find out the stocks that have the potential to fluctuate in the upcoming days or months. The industrial chain will help you a lot. It provides a detailed picture of the trending industries, such as semiconductors and EVs. You can quickly find stocks either upstream or downstream, which helps you focus on target segments of an industry more quickly. Also, as segments are related to industries, you could predict price fluctuations faster without reading many research reports to determine the relationships within one industry. Link in description. Statistically, Tesla appears to have dominated the EV industry in the US for years. In fact, the company has been exerting continuous efforts in increasing EV production each quarter. In 2020, at a time when the entire globe was shaken by the COVID-19 pandemic, it was reported that Tesla holds 79% of the registered new electric vehicles in the United States. The following year, the company accounted for 69.95% of the EV market share all over the country. During the first half of 2022, Tesla managed to acquire 68% of the battery electric vehicles in the US. Tesla remains at the top of the competition because of the extraordinary manufacturing efficiency of the company, with which Tesla enthusiasts will undoubtedly agree. It comes as no surprise, especially since fans and critics alike have been keeping their eyes on this particular progress of the company, that supply chain issues and rising costs are some of the factors that have affected Tesla's production performance. Still, Tesla has posted an operating margin of 19.2% for the first quarter of the year, a significant uprise from the company's 14.7% operating margin from Q4 2021. Of course, there are other factors that affect Tesla's overall performance. In terms of production, battery cost is a major factor. Although Tesla pays 10% less to build battery packs compared to its competitors, the company still incurs huge costs on the said batteries. The most expensive part of building an electric car is the battery pack. Tesla's significant cost advantage allows the company to stay several steps ahead of the competition. In terms of manufacturing, Tesla's efficiency relies greatly on its highly automated factories, pricing power, and rushing vehicle production. These played a big role in providing the company with incredible financial results. Over the last year, Tesla's revenue reached about $62.2 billion, which is up by 73%, and its free cash flow significantly rose by 118%, reaching $6.9 billion. According to experts, most of Tesla's plans are potential catalysts in helping maintain the company's leadership position in the EV industry. And for that matter, Tesla has numerous innovative projects that fit the bill. The launch of the much-anticipated Tesla Cybertruck is expected to increase Tesla's valuation in the next several years. Aside from the Cybertruck, which Tesla CEO Elon Musk confirmed is on track to start production before mid-2023, wherein deliveries may begin soon after, the ramp-up in vehicle production in the Berlin and Texas Gigafactories will allow Tesla's valuation to soar. The 4680 cell batteries, which Tesla aims to produce by 2023, along with the front and rear casing, are one of Tesla's catalysts. Like the 4680 cell batteries, Tesla's highly anticipated robo-taxi bids well for the company's success in the future. 
According to ARK Invest, Tesla's prospective robotaxi business line is a key driver for contributing 60% of expected value and more than half of expected EBITDA or earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization in 2026. Across the simulation set, they expect electric vehicles to constitute 57% of the company's revenue in 2026, although at substantially lower margins than the robotaxi revenue. More than that, a lot of people have been looking forward to Tesla's full self-driving mode, or FSD. That, in and of itself, is already great news for the company. Tesla FSD and Cybertruck have been previously discussed in the quarter two earnings call. During the call, several much-anticipated projects were discussed, including Cybertruck, FSD, and 4680, among others. Tesla still considers the much-awaited Cybertruck, electric semi-truck, updated Roadster concept, and other speculative projects like the humanoid robot as in development. Musk shared that the team continues to focus on Cybertruck production readiness and some future platform design. Musk says Tesla is hoping to start delivering the Cybertruck an experimental-looking pickup in the middle of next year. I think it might actually be our best product ever, says Musk. Regarding Autopilot, they deployed FSD Beta with city streets driving capability to over 100,000 owners who are very happy with the capability of the system and Tesla aims to continue to improve it every week. Moreover, FSD Beta is on track to be released for all North American customers before the end of this year, according to Musk. Tesla enthusiasts expect better news and clearer updates on their much-awaited products from the leading EV company in the coming Q3 2022 financial results and Q&A webcast. Another anticipated Tesla innovation is the humanoid robot Optimus. Although Optimus failed to receive a warm welcome at the recent Tesla AI Day and in fact has received more backlash on Twitter, many believe that given more time, Tesla will be able to produce a humanoid prototype that will satisfy the Tesla community. Today, Tesla is evidently one of the most controversial companies with outstanding valuations in the market. Whether Tesla stock is undervalued or overvalued remains to be a subject of debate. Still, there is no disputing the fact that Tesla incorporates its technological expertise into their vehicles, and this may just be the company's ticket for immeasurable success in the future. After Tesla released Q3 production and delivery numbers on October 2nd, Wall Street analysts were divided over the electric vehicle maker's report, and the sliding stock price suggests investors are worried about the delivery numbers. A Goldman Sachs analyst maintained Tesla's buy rating and said the company will continue to benefit from the long-term shift to electric vehicles. While while a JP Morgan analyst kept an underweight rating on Tesla, saying that the earnings miss was in line with the firm's expectations. Cohen's managing director for energy, sustainability, and mobility tech, Jeffrey Osborne, wrote in a note following the Q3 deliveries report, Tesla has ample cash and has undertaken a meaningful global manufacturing expansion with facilities in China, Berlin, and Austin, Texas, with the latter two approaching full ramp. While competition in the EV space continues to heat up, Tesla's focus on electrical efficiency and investment in battery technology likely makes them tough to chase in the short term. Cohen has a market perform rating on shares of Tesla and a price target of $244 per share. A.B. Bernstein senior research analyst Tony Sakanagi wrote in a note following the deliveries report that he thinks Tesla's ability to hit its guidance range of 50% deliveries growth for the fiscal year of 2022 now seems unlikely. He wrote, Tesla attributed its shortfall in delivered units to increased cars in transit at the end of Q3 and challenges securing vehicle transportation capacity at a reasonable cost. But he noted that vehicle production lagged what analysts were expecting according to his firm's estimates. Nonetheless, the firm expects the company's margins to look good for the second half of the year. Bernstein has an underperform rating on shares of Tesla and a price target of $150 per share. Deutsche Bank's research analyst Emmanuel Rosner was more bullish on Tesla overall and wrote in a note that the firm sees potential for Tesla's humanoid robot concept nicknamed Optimus, even though it has only shown a preliminary first-generation version at an AI Day recruiting event on Friday last week. He also noted that Tesla continues to work on its self-driving technology and supercomputer named Dojo for artificial intelligence. He wrote, There remain numerous challenges in the performance of the system that the team is working on, such as lane selection and left turns, but it continues to progress well toward its goals of deploying to the entire North American Tesla fleet by the end of the year. The firm is maintaining its price target of $400 per share and views Tesla as one of the most attractive stories in the auto sector. 
Tesla plans to report its third quarter earnings on October 19, 2022. After that, Tesla stock price will either dramatically drop or rise. Subscribe to this channel to see more insane Tesla stock updates.